Hello, I'm Jonathan Payne here, and welcome back to Planet Crafter, where of course we're in a new law and automation update. And in the last one, we managed to expand this base out a little bit. And as you can see here, I've started to put some contain storage containers down at the moment. I added a door in here because I need a way to get in and out. So I'm so used to rushing to these doors that it's going to take me a little bit of time to get used to this. Um, I think what we'll do first, though, is move this over to there and we'll move the office back because it looks kind of terrible you can't really see anything <laughs> like for instance uh, the other thing as well you can probably tell I did a bit of grinding off camera and I was making bees but then what I found is I thought I'll go and check the beehive for tier 2 and I think it's random chance but if you come over here the beehive makes bee larvae so I don't really need to do that bit. Oh, that one hasn't, but fair enough. How about this one? I think it's just random. Yeah, it's just a random chance. I think it's either going to make bees or honey, as far as I can tell. So I don't actually... I need some food as well. Let's come in here quickly. Um, I don't actually need to start sitting there and making those um, like I've been doing, collecting up the larvae and that sort of thing, making it in, in the thing over there, and then trying to get a you know random chance of getting getting a bee if it's not a, if it's a silkworm throwing it back in the recycler it'll save us on the mutagen so we don't actually need to do that which is really cool we just need more of those down or i just need to check them a little more often either way is fine um so that's all good let's go there and we'll throw some of that away um i think i'm going to start mounting uh, actually let's go and mount i don't know what we've actually got mounted um, let's go and just mount some of those butterflies because, and then I'll can sort the display out properly later, but I'm not too worried. So I think that green one, yeah, I've already got that one. I think the rest are, yeah, that's okay. Yeah, so if we throw that one in, uh, and then if we put that one there, uh, I'll, I'll order them a bit better later, but there we go. So those are the kind of unique ones. So I think I've largely got most of the butterflies. Um, obviously, I need to make some, um, uh, like make the uh, find the hidden one again, that sort of thing, and make the um, uh, what's it, the twelve hundred one. Oh, hang on. Oh, there we go. Just speak of the devil right there. There's a silkworm. So yeah, can we mount the silkworm up there? I don't think so. They're butterfly cases, but you know, no. They're, fair enough. I didn't think so, but. Just kind of had a thought. Can we put a silkworm? Can we put a silkworm on here? Oh, yeah, we can. Okay. Cool. I mean, I don't know if we want to, but there we go. We can do that. Um, and then I think the other thing I want to do as well is start doing some automation. Let's start tearing this thing down anyway while I talk. Um, but yeah, I think we'll start doing some automation. So we'll go to the um, waterfall. And I want to set up things like um, some extractors to make osmium rods set up some more extractors to make um, super alloy rods and then set up some more extractors so that we can like make pulsar quartz and things like that um, and have a separate operation from what we've got um, what, what we've built originally I think I'm just going to leave that as its base resources that you can kind of dip in and out of but I know that might change my ideas on that may change okay I was just thinking I'm probably going to get a little bit full on this one uh, the other thing as well, I forgot about that, we um, we made that uh, other thing as well, didn't we? We'll have to do that, That uh, the new piece of equipment. We'll have to do that. So, let's come over here first, and we're going to want uh, the terraformation screen. Let's get that down first. Let's get that about, say, let's try and stand on it. There we go. Like so, there we go, and then we'll get the progress screen next let's get that there try to get them roughly in the middle about the same height as well looks about right that's good and then uh, we had another one as well where was it was it biomass was that the big one oh i've not taken it down yet it's still here let's come over here and we'll have that one what do you mean something oh yeah i'm pointing at the wrong thing can i get that there we go, biomass screen, that's perfect. Let's take some more of these down as well. Whilst we can. Oh, okay. Never mind. We'll go and pick that up in a minute. So, biomass next. Should we leave a bit of a gap? Yeah, let's leave a bit of a gap. 
about right there. And I think that's all the big screens. Everything else is just small, isn't it? So we'll go desk next. Put the desk in there. Oh, no, don't cancel it, Pin. There we go. Right, and then I'm going to try... Ooh, that's tough to line that back up again. Oh, that doesn't want to line up. Why doesn't that not want to line up? Oh, that's such a shame. Okay, all right. It's going to take a bit of finagling. I might not be able to get those back. There might be something changed or something. So let's just kind of pull that away a little bit. How's that look? Yeah, there shouldn't be anything touching that one. So let's see if we can do that again. Just get it so that it kind of lines up like so. Yeah, there we are. That works. I'm down with that. Okay. Like so. And then we get one more in there. And then I wonder if we could do like a corner desk. Yeah, kind of. I guess. Yeah, there we go. That it, it kind of works. It could probably do with being shoved a little bit further that way. Um, but yeah, that kind of works. Um, it's going to bother me, but it's lined up so well. I don't know if I really want to move that. Hmm. I could put some lights or something behind there, couldn't we? We could put something behind. We could put some of the screens behind there, actually. Or we could put that screen there and just kind of cover that bit off, like so. Yeah, that kind of works. That kind of works. Yeah, we'll go with that. And then we need to get uh, the uh, unlocks one down. So we'll go there with it, and we'll just put a bunch of monitors down here. Uh, I think we might have had some mail actually as well. So. Uh, let's kind of try and line that up as best we can as well. It's going to be hard to see actually, but I think that works. Yep, there we go. Uh, mapping screen, I need to go and pick some of this stuff up from here as well. I think stuff fallen on the floor, yes it has. Uh, oh, I need to actually just come around here. I'm trying to deconstruct the whole thing, so there we are, that's good. And then uh, we want the orbital information is another one that we want. Could just go rotate that slightly into that corner there. Yeah, that kind of works. Yeah. No, I don't like it. I don't like it. I might move that screen slightly. Hmm. Yeah, we could move that screen. We'll see. Uh, mapping. No, that's not quite lined up. That's going to bother me. Does it matter? No. Well, I guess it does because it matters to me, but there we go. Uh, let's try and get that. Right there. Yep, that works. I can live with that. And then mail screen. Oh, no, I've already got one of those. Uh, what do we need? Power. We need power, don't we? Yeah. Uh, do you know what? Let's take that one down. We'll put the power one in its place. Because that's probably more, that's probably the two that I'm going to be interacting with more than the uh, mail. There we go, it's good. And then we'll get the mail one down there. Just have a quick scooch that back slightly. How's that? Yep, there we go, that all works. Big line of monitors, and then I think I've got so I've got four. And then we've got uh, this thing. I think that's the last one, isn't it? So, actually, that would kind of work there, wouldn't it? Yeah, if we... Hang on. If we take this down, angle that so that it's like 45 degrees thereabouts. Say, about there. And then if I move... Uh, where are we? Biomass. If I move that say there. Yeah, there we go. That kind of works. Like a little corner office. Yep, yeah, that sort of works. And then we'll get some of these chairs down then as well. So we'll put that in the middle there. It looks a bit stupid, but we'll kind of go with it. 
so you can kind of sit and easily see each one. And then we'll go put that one there. I keep forgetting to hold control as well. Uh, oh, am I, out of, am I out of stuff? Did we only have? Oh, have I run out of iron? Okay, well, I know I've got... Oh, where did I put it? Did I not put it here? I had a bunch of iron somewhere. Where did I put it? Oh, maybe maybe I moved it back. I don't know. Oh, well. Let's grab. I don't want to grab too much. Let's just grab some of that. That's fine. I uh, might move the couches as well. Ooh, I'm about to be... About to dehydrate. Let's, um, let's come over here. There we go. That's good. Because uh, I want all the bees. Because I want to start making these farm plots. And then maybe trying to automate compost and uh, all the fertilizer and all that sort of stuff as well. Uh, but we'll see. Uh, we may move that out as well. I think I'm probably just going to leave the couches here. And we'll do something else with those. I'm not sure what we'll do. But yeah, I've not exactly got the plan down perfectly yet. But there we are. I mean, maybe we should just be kind of corner like that. No, I think that works. There we are. That works. I could put another one down, but... Mm. Do you know what? That's going to bother me. Let's put let's put one down at each. It's going to bother me. It's not uniform. It's going to bother me. <laughs> there we go. That's more like it. Everything's all lined up. There we are. So... Yeah, that's cool. Kind of got a corner desk. That's a bit annoying, but I, to be honest, I don't want to move that. I think we'll leave it where it is. If it really irritates me, I'll, I'll do it off camera, but I think it's fine as it is. So that's all good. Okay, right. So I've just got some kit together to uh, make some more extractors, and there's some over already at the site as well. I took some more over there just, just now. I've uh, just had a super alloy storm, but the main problem we've got at the moment, I've been and taken one of the uh, uranium extractors tier twos down as well. Uh, we'll start phasing those out. Uh, the main problem we've got at the moment is the power situation. So I've got enough to make another, just about managed to scrape enough pulsar quartz together to make a fusion generator and I think the first thing we're going to build is a the ability to be able to make pulsar quartz because we're going to need that to be able to power all these extractors if I want to set up stuff that you know automates all the processes of making osmium rods and all that sort of thing so we're going to need a lot of power so I think the first thing to do is the pulsar quartz so we're going to need osmium, zeolite, uranium, iridium and we're going to need one of those uh, gas extractors as well next to it so we'll try and set that up so we're going to need four extractors and a gas extractor but i think first off we'll put this uh we'll put this fusion generator down i'm thinking well there's no there's no space down there huh, we could i mean there's not much space down there we could well, we could put them over here couldn't we in the middle because i was starting to put uh, the little nuclear power plants in between these bigger power plants but it's all nuclear power at the end of the day isn't it so it's like nuclear fusion generator or something yeah so hmm we could do that huh yeah we could just have this as a power platform rather than that room i don't know what do you guys think room or power platform or both i guess um but yeah, we're going to need a lot of power. I think I probably will expand that at some point as well. So uh, yeah, there we go. So I've got pretty much everything. The only thing I didn't think about was the um, uh, was the gas extractor. What do we need for one of those? So zealite super alloy. We've probably we've got all that stuff over there, haven't we? We just need the rods, which we've got plenty of again. So uh, I'll take a couple of iridium rods with us. But again. I've got a lot of that stuff over there, so I'm not too worried about that. I think a few of those. There we go. So good. I took a bunch of stuff over there, but I'm not too sure how much is there. Um, so yeah, I'd really like to be able to re reorganize this without having to delete each one of these. If you could just reorganize the uh, list would be great. I don't know whether that's possible. I'm not a programmer, but like the waterfall, that's the reason I deleted it. So it'd be at the bottom because um, it's the order that you build them. So if you wanted to get that to the top, 
you'd have to delete all of these ones which wouldn't be that bad you just go through delete it and in order that you wanted them but it'd be nice if you could just order the list without having to do that sort of rigmarole if that makes sense um but you know just a just a minor gripe just something that would be nice but not exactly essential but it would be nice if you could do that wouldn't it but never mind um so let's get her going so we're gonna need four extractors plus the gas extractor uh we might need more I think one gas extractor we might need two but we'll just start it off with one so i'm going to leave that separate for the moment um so if you just need the individual raw resources for any reason it's there but i may i may start incorporating and putting like the uranium rods or something like that over there you know iridium rods that sort of thing uh, may do something with that at some point and swap that around a little bit we'll see but uh, for now we're going to want to build where are we going to want to build this so we're going to decide where I'm going to put this first well, I don't want it too close to that so uh, we could potentially build it in this little dip couldn't we that could work yeah let's try it here let's build one and let's build another one next to it like so and then uh, I want to put the thingamabob in the middle yep the technical term the thingamabob uh, there we are uh, we'll have to mine that up as well. Let's get that out of the way. Oh, damn it, I forgot to make that thing as well that we unlocked last episode. Oh, okay. Oh, right. oh there's a bit of iron. That'll do. And then I could put two on the other side. That was kind of my thinking. Perfect. And then, do I have enough for another one? Yes, I do. Look at that. Wow. And then, have I got enough? No, I don't. I just need to get the osmium rods, which I'm pretty sure... We've got some over here, and then I will have a central hub somewhere. I think it may be a tower that overlooks this kind of uh, automated area. Maybe you teleport, you can teleport into it or something. Um, let's take all that. So I'm going to need some titanium. Ooh, that might be the thing that I'm missing. Yes, it is. Ah, bollocks. Okay. All right. Well, oh, there, there we go. I only need one more. And then what do we need for the... We need osmium, is it, for this, or...? Osmium. Oh, well, we've got that there. That's no problem. We can go and pick that up. Grab a couple of those. And then this should then be able to make the zealite. Uh, sorry, the pulsar quartz. Not the zealite. What am I talking about? There we go. So, and then if we have that thing in the middle there. Um, hmm. I guess it doesn't really matter where we put it, does it? We'll just put it in the middle for now. Just kind of rotate it. There we are. That'll do. And then if we set this thing off to make pulsar quartz, and then we got to set this to mine osmium. Set that one to mine uranium. Set that one to mine uh, zealite. And then I think it was iridium. Just quickly check that. Double check. Yeah, and then I just need the methane extractor as well. Should I got all the stuff? No, I don't. Okay, well, let's quickly come over here because we've got everything else. We just need to pick it up. And I'll say that's kind of why I'm leaving this here so I can just come and grab the raw resources if I need them. Uh, the fact I, I like, I really like these signs as well. So, uh, where are we? Gas extractor. There we go, perfect. If we put that here, the question is, will that then extract out of there? I don't know. But uh, do you know what we could just do with a screen? I'm just kind of curious on the power situation. Uh, I wonder if we've got any enough, enough stuff in there just to throw a quick screen down. And then, yeah, we'll we'll redesign this. Uh, we'll get rid of this and, well, you know, I'll, I'll sort it out. It's like something that makes explosives as well would be quite nice. Uh, was it magnesium? Was it silica? Yeah, magnesium. Okay, let's just see if we can find out this bit. Well, I mean, to be honest, I could just go into my miner, couldn't I? There we are. Uh, let's throw this down. Power screen. It's kind of crap, but there we go. Let's throw it down. I'm kind of curious. Yeah, so I've just put four of those down. That has eaten that entire fusion generator pretty well much, because that's 321. That's 1485. Yeah, it's pretty well much. Um, you got a uh, you, you know you're using you put one of those down you can put four with a bit of change left over and then you need another one so 
yeah, I'm going to need a lot of power. I'm also wasting a lot of power here, so, you know, we may may end up changing that at some point, but has this made one yet? That's the question. I think this might be the slow, slow poke. I only just put it down, but... Seems interesting, because did I... I wonder if that extracts faster. I could have sworn I set that one off last, right? But it's done two. That one I set off first, and it's done two. There we go. Yeah, it'll slowly make them, so... We could put another one of these gas extractors down there. If I had that stuff for it. We could do. Let's come back over here, and we'll grab the super alloy again. Speed that up, because I say I need more pulse lock quartz now before I can uh, before I can make another one. So yeah. Uh, do you know what? Let's... Oh crap! We've got no iron now. Perfect. Yeah, like I thought it was all prepared, but no, I'm not. Well, let's just come over and grab it. Iron. I don't know why I keep running around on the floor looking for it. It's like uh, I've just got extractors there, so. <laughs> you know. uh, Another gas extractor there. And that should be. Is that in the zone? Ooh, I'm not sure if that's in the zone actually. We might want to move this thing. Yeah, let's move it slightly. Um. Put that there. This is a kind of mock-up. I think it's kind of crappy. But there we go. Oh, yeah. And then it extracts bloody oxygen as well, doesn't it? Which kind of annoys me. So it'd be nice to something just extract that out and destroy it or something. Because I don't need it, like, at all. So, yeah. It'd be kind of nice to just get rid of it. Yeah, that's going along. That should... Might have been okay where it was. It's a little bit messy, but there we go. It'll work for now. My famous words. So we're obviously just missing the gas. Yeah, because it's like it's extracted. Both of them have extracted. Well, that one hasn't extracted anything yet, but it should do soon. Uh, we might need a third one, but once it gets going, um, we should be fine, and it should be okay to sort that out. I guess we could have one that does um, the rods over here because we don't necessarily need the uranium and the iridium that much we could do that couldn't we just automate one of those yeah uh, so I need osmium grab that put that down I could just put one here that does does the rods not that I really need those rods but you know why not type of thing. And then one that does the super alloy rods as well would be really handy. That would be handy. And then iridium. So there we go. I don't desperately need those, but there is a there is a constant feed of them then coming. Um, so I don't feel like I need another extractor for uranium or iridium. I've got a box full of iridium rods, and I've got a box almost full of uranium rods. So I don't feel like I need to make a separate one for that. Um, I think that'll be fine. Uh, but the super alloy rods were like, was it eight super alloy to make one of those? Yeah, so I don't think I'd put eight, extra eight extractors down, but I would want a, you'd want a slightly better ratio because it's eight to one, isn't it? Ratio one aluminium to the uh, eight super alloy. But I wouldn't want to put eight of those extractors down. It seems a bit pointless. Uh, but maybe like three or four down, three super alloy, one aluminium or something like that, maybe. Might be a good ratio to go for. Uh, but until that time, there's not much I can do. I really need the pulsar quartz. Um, so let's come over here. I might actually just take a drink. Uh, the other thing as well, I should make that... Uh, let's go and make that thing, the chip thing that we made, whilst I wait for the pulsar quartz to um, uh, build up a little bit. Uh, there we go. 
because uh, it's like these are, you know uranium, uranium here we could do explosive powder as well and uh, that's another one what was that it was just uh, it was just the sulfur and iridium so if we had two sulfur extractors and an iridium extractor we could just make that although again to be honest I could just set another one of those things up on that platform that we've already got because I'm not really needing explosive that badly could do that save some power wouldn't it uh, but anyway uh, what was this chip thing so I need a super alloy a magnesium and a silicon so magnesium silicon and I've got some super alloy over here like so it's all good make that and then we'll see what this thing actually does so uh, hides lower tiers of objects from the construction menu all oh, right oh that's cool so oh so now I can only see the best stuff that I can make interesting so if I wanted to can I can I is there any way can I not see that or is that it's like any buttons or anything I'm gonna press um so I guess I'd have to unequip it, right? Yeah, that's pretty cool though, because uh, I like these tier two veg tubes. Uh, I really like those things, so uh, we'll probably put some of those down. But that's that's no, that's fine. I like that. That's cool. It does clear up the menu slightly, so that you know you're not got the various veg tubes um, down. You've you know you've got two that you're not really going to use much. I just kind of like them for decorations. I think they look way cooler than the um, plant pots. I'm not a big fan of those, so. Um, I like these. Certainly inside. Outside we'll probably do something with the flower pots, but they do they did change, didn't they, in the last update? Yeah, they, they do provide a little bit of oxygen, so I guess that's something. But they're like super expensive to make, as I remember. Yeah, you need like fertilizer, which is just way too pricey, uh, in my opinion. So should we get some of these down? Is that like bioplastic? Yeah, we'll get one of those down, why not? So I need what do I need? I need two fabric. That's that's going to be the sticking thing, isn't it? I think. Oh, I got a decent amount of fabric. There we are. Bioplastic. I can't remember where I put that, but the other thing was zellite and um, tier two fertilizer. I've only got two. Oh, that'll be that'll be fine. I say I'm not too worried about uh, getting those uh, in place. Just a bioplastic. I can't remember where I put that now. Oh, there. There we go. That's great. Uh, plus, actually, doesn't. Uh, yeah, you can't see what the recipe was from the other one as well. I guess that's one thing, but uh, still, that's okay. Right, where's the good butterflies? Ah, they're here. So let's take that one out. And we'll replace it with uh, the better one. Like so. And then we put... Oh, I can put two in there. Oh, hello. Dang. Oh, oh well, let's go and get a pink one, shall we? I got plenty of those. Oh wow! So if you really need to boost the insects, that is really good because it holds two. Interesting. Uh, that's probably the best one I've we've got. I, you know, I can make some others, but um, yeah, I think I'm okay with it. I'll just throw one of those pink ones in for now. I want a bit of biodiversity anyway, so you know. Again, does it matter? No, but I kind of want it. So, yeah, we see the both flying about. Oh, that's pretty cool. So, yeah, that holds two. So, that would really boost you up. So, if you had two of these gold ones go in. Um, 22.59 kilograms a second. As opposed to... Try and find one of these, these ones here. 1.13 kilograms per second so damn that is yeah almost 25 isn't it you know that's just massively boosted it up uh, sorry that's like probably 20 times what we were just getting there and if you threw another one of those uh, gold ones in as well uh, let's actually do that shall we swap them around swap them around I'm kind of curious to know how much that generates so if we then go to there I think it looks cooler with a two different butterflies but there we go 29 but four six so we're making it almost 30 kilograms per second of insects damn that's good wow that is really good isn't it 
Damn, I did not think that would be that good. Uh, should we throw another one down? I think we can, can't we? Yeah, let's throw another one down then. Why not? We might as well. Uh, put one there, and then we'll take that one out. Put that one in there. Yeah, I, I'd like some different... I uh, like the different plants and stuff. You know, this is the best flower to put down in these things, but... I just like the, uh, you know, the biodiversity because um, it's kind of better, I think, in my opinion. They're all, uh, you got a bit of variety. But if you're just going for outright, uh, you know, performance, obviously the gold, uh, the gold ones would definitely be the best ones to go for. But yeah, that's pretty cool. Nice. I like it. Man, I love this game. Uh, oh, oh, oh. Well, I definitely want that. The bees. We'll come back and get the rest later. Yeah, so I don't need, um, I don't need to keep making those uh, things anymore. Uh, you know, doing the, doing the, um, wasting the mutagen on that. Instead, I'll probably put it into making trees or something instead, um, because otherwise there's just there's no point. You you get a chance of like a silica, a silkworm or something, don't you? So, um, you know, uh, but let me just drop drop everything off. I guess we could. Should we chuck another one out? Yeah, bollocks to it. Let's. Oh yeah, hang on. Let's put another butterfly thing out. Give me a second. Okay, right. So I've just dropped everything off. A storm has just bro rolled in, but that's fine. We'll just live with it. Um, so let's put. And yeah, these mushroom trees as well have grown up, haven't they? As well, I've got all about that. Yeah, they look pretty cool. So let's put down the butterfly farm. Tier two. I know these aren't the best, but let's throw them in. That's probably the best ones I've got on hand. So there we go. We could just throw two pink ones in, but like I say, I'm not too fussed about it. So, I mean, even that is making 13.75, uh, whereas the other one with the gold one in was what was like 30, uh, 1.3, uh, 1.13, wasn't it? So it's making way more insects. So yeah, that is just crazy. Um, so if we did have to grind for a high insect level, we'd be okay. Let's go and get some food and water quickly. And then I think in between the episodes, I will sort out this um, this storage here. Because uh, I think what I'm going to do is probably... I mean, ooh. Hang on, hold that thought. I could put like an automated thing in the middle to build out of these chests. Hmm. I think what I'll probably do is remove one of these so I can walk through but leave the rest down. I don't quite know how I'm going to do it to be perfectly honest but um, I quite like the setup that we've got but we need some freedom to be able to move about so um, yeah I'm not sure how I'm going to do that to be perfectly honest. Uh, we might be able to sort out, uh, what am I doing? I need the food don't I? Yeah there we go. Let's go there. Uh, we might be able to sort things like uh, trees for instance that aren't needed much or ice that sort of thing and sort those into these ones over here that aren't used that much and then keep this just as the core resources of like super alloy osmium that sort of thing because I kind of like this and don't want to break it up but I think we may have to break this wall up at least and move it somewhere I'm not too sure how I'm going to do that but uh, I'll do it off camera but let's go and see how my pulsar quartz is doing for me in the episode there we go. That should now just be rocking away, making that. Yeah, there we go. And then if I just come and empty it off, there we are. Brilliant. Yeah. And then by the time I come back again, I mean, I could set a second one up potentially. Uh, the problem is that these things are filling up with crap, aren't they? That's it. Yeah, look. It's like it's way too much oxygen. So, yeah. <laughs> um. But yeah, that's going to work perfectly fine. So that's that's brilliant. So I think the next thing to make is to start to then automate the osmium and super alloy rods um, so that we can then start making these uh, more extractors because uh, pretty much everything else, largely the osmium, to be perfectly honest, the super alloy we're not doing too bad with. Um, that we've got plenty of. And then it would be try nice to try to automate making some of this stuff as well. Uh, making like the fertilizer, uh, making like the explosive powder, for instance, that sort of thing would be pretty handy as well. Uh, bioplastic, maybe. 
um, things of that nature. And we'll try and automate everything that we can. Uh, but I think I'll try and get a little bit prepared for the next episode. I thought I was, but I am obviously not. So there we go. Um, but I think probably the next episode we'll probably go to, where is it? This gate down here and we'll go and explore that next. Um, and then in between the episodes I'll get everything else sorted. We need to take this place down and move it over there. And um, yeah, have some kind of central hub. I'm kind of thinking of tower on the top, but we'll see. Uh, but anyway, I think this is a good place to call it, and I think we'll end the episode here. So if you like that one, please give me a thumbs up, comment your thoughts down below, subscribe for more, I really do appreciate it. Stay safe out there, everyone, and I'll catch you next time.